Hello and welcome back again to another video. In this video, we're going to look at how to create this uh, split screen uh, transition for text and video. So let's get started. So here in the timeline, we want to add an extra video track. So right click here and then click insert to uh, insert the video track and then just simply click OK for that. So we have three video tracks. So let's go to the project bin, selecting this clip, uh, one of eight of your clip and place this in video track 1 and now let's create a title clip by in the project bin I right click and uh, add a title clip and let's type in our text align the text and uh, click create when uh, it's okay and now what we need to do now is to duplicate this text so right click make sure to select the text clip and right click and uh, duplicate that so we have two uh, text clip now so let's just bring this uh, one place it on video track 2 another one place it on video track 3 okay so the next thing is to apply the rotoscoping mask to this two clip here so let's go to uh, effects panel here and um, under the alpha mask and king you have the rotoscoping if you're in the so all uh, video effects here you can see that you have a rotoscoping mask and rotoscoping so either of this is okay so just bring this and apply to the two clips of uh, text clip uh, on video track 3 and text clip on video track 2 so once you have that you can see this yellow borders here indicating that um, the rotoscoping mask is active so what we need to do is uh, we have to decide how to split the text we can either split the text uh, vertical horizontal or at an angle so this example we're going to look at how to split this at an angle so let's get started first of all uh, let's click here and you can see video uh, zoom in and uh, zoom out so we want to zoom out from here so let's click this one uh, and uh, let's just go more now we have this nice uh, space here now so from here we want to um, click somewhere from here and simply split this text something like that and then uh, click here click here and right click and once you do that you can see that uh, creating this uh, black uh, black ground there so you come down to the properties and uh, in the mode make sure it must be in alpha and then in alpha operation change the um, alpha operation to subtract and then make sure to click on the invert that's the first example second one let's select the second text and then uh, let's do the same uh, just simply click here click here click here click here and uh, close this gap <laughs> And now that we have that, uh, let's go to the properties again, do the same alpha mode, alpha operation, subtract, and then click the invert. And as you can see, we have some little gaps around here. So let's go back to pull screen again. So we zoom out two times. So let's go to that. And then if you want to go more, we can zoom in more then uh, it's make it easy for us to see that so we want to fix this so it can be aligned with the previous cut so let's just move this uh, up here and uh, bring this click on the holder here bring it down so it should be straight with this okay I think this line is okay now uh, let's just move this one a little bit down Okay, so the next thing is to apply the um, transform tool to this. So let's go back again to the effects and uh, go down to transform distort and perspective and apply um, transform to this two clip. This is the text clip. Select the first one and move in your playhead somewhere here. And then uh, add a keyframe. Select the second uh, text clip and uh, move in like two or three frames so one two and three something like that and um, add another keyframe select the other text again and add another keyframe and once you're there in the x value we want to type in uh, 200 and you can see we move the text out 
there and then select the bottom one and then in the x value type in negative 200 to go the opposite way so that's the example there now let's go to the end add a keyframe here and selecting the other clip add another keyframe and while we are here let's move in uh, two frames one and two or three frames or four frames whatever you want to and then um, add another keyframe and then change the value of x to 1500 and then do the same for the next text uh, add another keyframe and then change the value of x to negative 1500 and that's it and here is the final result okay so that's the example of how to use a split transition for the text and then now let's look at how to do that in videos so before we move on to the um, do that in the videos uh, from here you can save this as effects so simply selecting or collapse all these ones together and now uh, you can save as um, save effects tag here so let's just call this one uh, split text effect one and then select the second one and uh, do the same too save the effect so split text effect effect two okay so now we're going to look at how to apply the same principles to videos creating a split screen transitions so let's get started so let's bring this clip to the timeline and then uh, bring this other clip as well to the timeline and play place the playhead somewhere here hit X to cut and then cut this clip S to go back again and right click selecting this cut clip here right click and copy that and paste it at the top here something like that and um, since we have a video track 3 let's uh, move this down to video track 2 video track 1 and place this here so you can see that we have the video track 2 for this one here uh, we can place this down here and then we have this 2 up on video track 2 and video track 3 so after this let's go to the effects and go to album master and king and rotoscope apply this to the 2 clip which is this one on video track 3 and track 2 and then you can see the yellow borders here that indicating that they are active so let's select the first one here and here we have the zoom in and zoom out so let's zoom out from here something like that and then split this you can either decide to split it uh, vertically horizontal or uh, at an angle so we're going to use the angle here so just click here come out here click here and then right click something like that and then in the properties of the rotoscope in the mode leave it as alpha alpha operation make sure to check this to subtract and then in the invert select the invert that's all for this one and let's go to the second one so let's do the same again make sure to have the right at the angle pointing to like we did in the uh, first clip there something like that but this time we go on the opposite side click here and then right click to close it up and uh, do the same in the properties mode alpha alpha operation change this to subtract and then invert this one the next thing is to apply the transform so again go to the effects uh, under the transform distort and perspective selecting the transform and apply to both of this clip and uh, let's bring our playhead somewhere here and then adding a keyframe here selecting the other one adding another keyframe and then you can move in two or three frames and then uh, add another keyframe for this one and uh, this time we want to change the x value to um, 200 so you can see it down there and then let's do the same for this one uh, at another keyframe and then change the value this time we go opposite which is negative 200 so you can see this little gap in between there uh, revealing the uh, video track which is the one behind the two uh, clip here and then let's go to the end almost somewhere there control to zoom in somewhere there and then add a keyframe select the other one add a keyframe and then move in two or three frames one two three and then add a keyframe here and in the x value type 
because this is positive 200 so let's type um, positive 2000 and then let's do the same for the other one uh, add a keyframe and this is negative so let's just type in negative 2000 so that's all we need to do and if you want to change this uh, from linear to smooth you can do that by selecting both of this clip uh, you can change this to smooth there and now let's see how it looks like So that's how we can create this uh, nice um, split uh, transitions for videos and text. Um, yeah, it's very nice when you do some kind of uh, creative videos and you want to have this nice of text uh, split or video split. You can do that to reveal the next uh, text or next video inside the clip. Thank you again for watching and hope to see you back again in another video. Enjoy!